Hello everyone, thanks for choosing our Zeal Sound V13 audio mixer, which can support up to two persons, three devices, and three platforms to stream simultaneously. And it also provides three amusing voice changers and a variety of podcast modes. Also preset 22 popular sound effects, which makes live streaming more entertaining. It also supports playing accompaniment music via Bluetooth. It combines a microphone interface, a mixer, and an interesting tone converter, plug and play function, and focuses on helping provide valuable and interesting content to interact with the audience. Please also refer to the user manual for the details. All right, let's see what we get in the package. One piece of Vault 13 audio mixer, one piece of dual diaphragm microphone, one piece of microphone stand, one piece of shock mount, one piece of microphone XLR cable, two pieces of 3.5 millimeters TRRS audio cable, one piece of ODG and charging cable, one piece of user manual, one piece of type C to 3.5 millimeters cable. Now let me briefly introduce to you the Zeal Sound Cardi Eye Condenser Microphone. It is compatible with smartphones, tablets and computers, including Android, iOS, Windows and Mac OS and used for multiple devices. The audio mixer bundle is equipped with a 16 mm dual large diaphragm premium grade XLR condenser microphone, which captures every nuance of your sound audio in great detail designed for multiple recording applications. Cardi I condenser microphone makes it possible to pick up audio from the source while rejecting unwanted noise, and it makes the recording sound more clear and richer. It is ideal for recording, live streaming, and podcasting. Before we start to use this sound mixer, here I want to remind you guys of some tips. Tip 1. We'd better fully charge the mixer before we use it for the first time. Tip 2. For better sound quality, please use the cable provided in the package. Tip 3. This audio mixer has a Bluetooth connection function, which can be wirelessly connected to your device for the accompaniment playing. And Bluetooth can only work for accompaniment playing, not for other purposes. Tip 4. Since all the individuals differed from the timbre, voice line, and personal taste, Please try to adjust the knobs of the V13 audio mixer to find the sweet spot. Okay, let's connect these cables and the package to the corresponding equipment first. Let's start from the external connection. Step 1. Microphone connection. Please find out the XLR 3.5mm cable in the package. You can plug the 3.5mm end into the mic or mic input jack of the V13 and plug the XLR end into the microphone. Step 2. Earphone connection. Just plug your headset into the headphone jack of the V13. Step 3 Audio Connection Or if you would like to amplify output sound, just plug your external speaker into the audio jack of the V13. Now let me show you how to charge the mixer. Very easy. Here is the charging port. Just plug and charge via the unclosed ODG charging cable. Please pay attention. Please fully charge this audio mixer before first time you use it. If you do not use it for a long time, please charge the audio mixer every three months. It can be charged even when the power is off. Do not charge for a long time. After the battery is fully charged, please stop charging to avoid overcharging. Now let me show you how to add background music. This audio mixer provides two ways to add background music. First is by 3.5 mm TRRS audio cable. Add background music by 3.5 mm TRRS. Just need to connect your phone to the music jack by the 3.5 mm to 3.5 mm cable for playing accompaniment. To add background music by Bluetooth connection. This audio mixer has a Bluetooth connection function, which can be wirelessly connected to your device for the accompaniment playing. Long press for two seconds to turn on the audio mixer and the Bluetooth indicator light turns blue. Then search Vault 13 on the Bluetooth menu of your smartphone and tap to connect. Now let us practice the following three live streaming or recording methods for you guys. Firstly, recording or live streaming on mobile phone. One phone. Please find out the 3.5 mm to 3.5 mm audio cable to connect the audio mixer to your phone. There are two 3.5 mm to 3.5 mm audio cables. We just need one here. Plug the 3.5 mm TRRS audio cable into the output 1 or the output 2 jack of V13 and plug another 3.5 mm end into your smartphone. After that, some friends may ask, my phone doesn't have a 3.5 mm jack. It only has a Type-C or Lightning jack. For these kinds of devices, please do not worry. 
the audio mixer comes with a Type-C to 3.5 millimeters OTG cable in the package. You can use this Type-C adapter to connect with the jack for iPhone 7 or above. You may need enlightening to 3.5 millimeters adapter which with audio input. Secondly, recording or live streaming on laptop. One laptop, please find out this OTG cable to connect the audio mixer to your computer. You could also find image guidance from the manual. It's plug and play via the USB interface. Very easy to set up. Thirdly, live streaming up to three devices. Please connect two smartphones to the output one and output two jack together through two 3.5 millimeters to 3.5 millimeters audio cables. And plug the ODG cable into the ODG and charge jack of the V13 and another end to your laptop. Here you will see that you can use three devices in sync. Let me introduce the usage of button functions below. To start with, please long press this power button for two seconds to turn on the audio mixer. As you can see, the light on the panel of the audio mixer is flashing and chasing. Look at the top part, there are for the music, microphone, Bluetooth and battery level. The left-sided indicator light shows us the volume of accompaniment music. The next is showing the volume of the microphone. As for the Bluetooth, it turns blue when the audio mixer is turned on. And this is the battery level indicator. Remember to charge this audio mixer when this green indicator flashes, and please stop charging it when this green indicator is off. Firstly, let's take a look at the top two obvious knobs of music and the mic. The music knob is to control the volume of the accompaniment music. Let's try to play background music and see what will happen. Just rotate the knob clockwise to increase the volume. Volume. The mic knob is to control the volume of the microphone. Please rotate the knob clockwise to increase the volume of microphone. Rotate the knob counterclockwise to decrease the volume of microphone. Please take a look at the fade in the middle, which made the V13 more professional. From left to right, they are reverb volume, reverb depth, audio, music EQ, bass and treble adjustments. Push them up to increase the effect and drag the fade down to decrease the effect. Let's have a try next. This reverb ball is to control the reverb effect. Reverb depth is to control the reverb depth. It's indescribable. Well, please check my recording and you will find it. Just push up the reverb ball, drag down, then push up the reverb depth and drag down. Wow, amazing. The audio is to adjust the volume of the external speaker. Next is music EQ. You can adjust the tune of the accompaniment music to achieve deep bass, smooth alto and clear treble. Okay, let's have a try. The bass and treble is to control your vocal. Let's try to display the difference. Push up, drag down. If you need more bass, push up the bass theta. Need more treble, push up the treble theta. Please have more trails to meet the satisfactory tone. Below are the six control knobs. Let me introduce them for you. Monitors for the headphone volume control. Please adjust the volume to minimum before wearing the headset, and then gradually increase the monitor volume to avoid damaging your hearing. Voice changer is for the volume control for voice changer. Rec is for the volume control of sound output. This function is fantastic if you are a live streamer. When your audience complains your volume is too low from the live streaming, but you think it's proper volume from your monitor headphone, just rotate this knob clockwise, then you will be more audible to your audience. Next is the lighting rotary knob. You can turn off or adjust the brightness of all the indicators. The indicator is more and more invisible when I rotate it counterclockwise. If you don't like the indicator, just make it turned off. Dodges to control the vocal when live streaming. When turn on this mode during live streaming, the Vault 13 audio mixer will automatically lower the volume of the background music and highlight the vocal. Rotate the knob clockwise or counterclockwise to adjust the dodge effect. Besides, the most important rotary knob is denoise. Please rotate the knob clockwise to reduce the ambient sound from the microphone input. There are seven preset audio modes, including original, popular, KDV, MC electric, golden oldie, and game. You can press the corresponding button to trigger the mode you want. Each mode button has an indicator light. When pressing the button, the corresponding button light will turn orange. Press any other six buttons to end the current mode. The next button are voice changer buttons. Male to female, female to male, and baby voice. Let's try that. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Wow, is it fantastic. It makes your live streaming more entertaining. If you want to end the effect, 
just push any other voice changer buttons to exit. As we can see music only, it can remove or isolate 95% vocals from stereo audio files. Press the button to turn this function on and off. Correspondingly, the button lights on and off. This function is useful if you can't find an accompaniment on website for karaoke. Let's have a look at the internal play. An external speaker is not needed if you want to play music when live streaming. Press this button, then play music on your laptop. And the music is playing during your live streaming. No matter whether this mode is triggered or not, the computer music can always be heard from the monitor headphones output. As you can see, there is no external speaker, but I still can play music when turn on the internal play function. It's a very friendly function for live streaming. Let's move on to the sound effects. Press the corresponding button to trigger the sound effect. Light indicator will stop flashing after the effect finishes playing. Mayday! Mayday! We're going down! Go, go, go! Attack! Oh my god! Huh? Back, back, retreat. Get together, together. You see, it's very interesting and funny. Overall, the V13 audio mixer is easy to use. Just plug and play. And it's so portable that you can take it anywhere for outdoor live streaming. And this all-in-one audio mixer bundle will make your live streaming more professional and interesting. Zeal Sound V13 Audio Mixer.